Hi everyone, how you all doing? Ty here from the Cat Coach. This video we're going to be working on Ni Jushi Ho. Let's get into the video. Don't forget, if you're new, please like, leave a comment and subscribe to this channel. Ni Jushi Ho means 24 steps. It's a fast, dynamic kata that incorporates powerful striking uh, techniques with the arms and also powerful kicks and fast, smooth transitions. We're going to start in regular yoi position then place your both arms out in front, your left hand is open and your right fist is closed. So the first transition we're dropping back with the right leg and we're blocking down like this. So we're going to bring the right foot in to the left foot and then turn your body sideways falling back into this block here. Try and time the movement with the arms and the feet complete all at the same time. So again here in your position, as your arms start to lift up, bring your feet in together and then draw back in this smooth motion here. Let me show you this from the side. So up as my arms are near the top, my feet are close together and then drop back into this position. When I step back, the right foot goes first and the left foot just slides back with it. So you've got this sliding movement here. Make sure this shoulder is pulled back and don't sacrifice the front knee in order to get that shoulder back. Pull it in as tight as it can go and keep that knee in a straight line and squeeze the lats nice and tight here. One last time. Smooth transition, one here, sideways on. Now the next movement, we're going to slide forward and we're going to punch. And your punch now goes underneath the top blocking hand here. So slide here, one. And both feet are on the floor. And then bring the left hand under. And you're going to slide forward one more time and slowly just rise up here. So this is an arm bar. What we're doing is we're grabbing and we're bringing my arm up and under my opponent's elbow, trying to hyperextend the elbow. The other variation is to go from here one, like an elbow strike. Make sure you keep your feet in line and flat on the floor here. Okay, the next sequence we're gonna take the Right foot behind, and we're going to spin into Sanshin Dachi. So my left foot is straight, my right foot is turned inwards, and I'm trying to squeeze my inner thigh muscles together and keep my hips raised like this. So I'm squeezing my uh, bum cheeks together, my abs are nice and firm, so I've got a nice strong position where I'm rooted to the floor. When I turn, bring your arms in a big circle over your head and then do double hikite and then fire your arms out in front and punch like this. Your right fist is on top, your left fist is underneath. Now you're going to rise your right knee up and squeeze into the middle, making sure your forearms are touching and your knee is up and we're squeezing here in the middle and then cross your arms, left fist on front slide out kaku waku here. So all I'm doing is I'm timing my step with my arms going forward and they all complete at the same time. I'm trying to avoid going from here one, two. Like this. The next move we're going to go to the left. So I look and I prepare one here. So you can keep the stance and twist your upper body, make uh, left hikite and your right arm does agyu for preparation. And then from here, you're going to step into stance and drive agyu ki. Keep your hips open and a slight bend in that rear knee. And then drive off that rear foot and perform upward elbow strike here. So you're turning your body forwards into that strike. Some people will 
do add your key straight from here. So this hand goes over and they will block from here. So you can choose from a couple of different ways to do that. One, two, three. Now, keep the right hand in tight and the right elbow in tight to your body. You're going to pull it through. As you bring your rear foot on line to keep it at you, and block Tatishuto here. Make sure you get everything in nice straight line. And this is one of the tricky parts of the kata now. So we've got this Yoko Gary that requires a little bit of flexibility. And what you're going to do is just slightly rock your weight back onto that rear leg. And you're picturing that you're grabbing your opponent and you're pulling your opponent in. So this hand performs a hikite and you do yoko giri kokomi with the right foot. So here, push back ever so slightly, kick and then punch across. Now, make sure you lift your knee first and then only do a hikite as you extend your foot out and not before. So, not this timing, but that timing. And then as you land, push for your left foot and perform the punch. Now bring the left hand through the center and out and block on the other side. And just repeat. So imagine you've got hold, you chamber your knee here and pull as you extend your foot for your Kogeri. One and punch. You don't have to use your hikite on the punch because your hand is in. You're pulling your opponent in and then you just do the punch on its own. We're going to drop the elbow down here like we're catching the heel on someone's kick. And as I do that, I just pull my left foot in slightly and then step my right foot out. At the same time, my left hand is pushing out here. So let's repeat this movement one more time. And try and make this nice and smooth. One, two. And slowly push your weight onto the front leg as you're pushing forward here. So the next sequence, we've got an attack coming at this direction behind us. So I'm going to take my rear foot around and my left hand swings low here and my right hand swings high. From here, like this. So you can come straight with this and you can also come round. So play about with both options. One. The next thing is bring your right foot up. And again, there's another few variations on this. You see it done this way where you bring your left hand up so it meets the right hand. But the way I like to do it is I like to come straight. So you're attacking someone's throat here. This is struck, and then that's coming into the throat as well, here. So let's look at that one more time. And that's our first ki position here. Drop your left foot back and collect with your left hand. So we've got a kick coming in, and we're just avoiding the kick and catching the foot as it comes towards us here, and then the right hand is striking to the side of the knee. So you make this shape with your hand, and it comes in sideways. So one, and then double hikite, two. Your left hand is on top, your right fist is on bottom. And my stance is Koka Sadachi. From here, the next attack is coming behind. So we're going to cut this angle here. My right foot turns inwards. My left foot turns outwards, so I'm making cold cut sadachi on the other side. And I'm bringing my left hand under and blocking. And again, try and keep everything nice and streamlined and straight. Now rock your weight forward, push, and make sure everything comes in through this narrow space and you don't let your body travel around in a circle. 
but you keep everything in super tight and you're going to drive this right elbow up into an upward elbow strike in Kibidachi stance, here. Make sure this fist travels behind your head and you're getting maximum extension on this elbow. This is coming up and under the chin, here. Drive off this left foot now and just shift your weight. Make sure to keep your stance nice and even throughout. And punch across as your right hand comes in like this. One. And then just repeat the same movement that way. So push on the right foot and block Ginambarai. Here. So let's look at that sequence one more time. Cut this angle. Transition. One. One, two. Now we're going to turn and face this direction and block exactly the same. Now this time we're going to set through an elbow strike and keep that chip. Step through, elbow strike, block down, like this. Similar to Basai Dai. One, two. One, two. Now we're going to repeat the same sequence as we did this way with the upward elbow strike, punch, and block. Just step your left foot in at this 45 degree angle. Step through, one. One, two. Now we're going to step over to the center. So we're lining up with ourselves again. So take your right foot and step a big step across and then pull your left foot over. One, two. That's the step we need to make. And then the hands come over. Cross over, double hikite, here, and really squeeze them elbows back. Try and knit your shoulder blades together, and then fire forward, like so, here. Same movement like we did at the beginning. And to finish, we step forward into the right side sanchindachi. The right hand comes over and loops around, and then comes forward. So step. Right hand comes over, around, so left hand on top, right hand on bottom, push. This left hand jodan, right hand chudan here. And then we step back to regular yame. Let's look at a kata done full speed. Nijushihou!